Hello, Aries. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Okay. How are y'all doing? How are your family? That's good. How are your co-workers? Putting up with them? Going off on them? Okay, I'm not going to start because I know y'all. I don't know shit, but I feel the child are in a good space. So, thank you. <laughs> Woo. All right. You may be um, in, a, in the, I was about to say the spirit of, you may be in the energy of, uh, really quick, you may be in the energy of uh, working out certain things in your south node at this time. Um, there may be some huge part of your evolution that you are breaking through or breaking free from or something or someone. Ain't no telling with y'all, okay? Um... So you may want to look into that or check out your chart or just, you know, look into you look in your uh, writings, your journal or look at where you were this time last year. It's always important uh, to just audit yourself and see what's recurring around this time. What what occurred last year and how is it occurring this year and how do they relate? OK, now then, um, indie reads are on uh, Patreon as well as I drop archived reads here on YouTube and um, on the porch. The seller is also here on YouTube. The seller is also on Patreon where they get homework each month. All right. Now then, what information do you have for my beautiful Aries? Thank y'all for y'all comments and subscribes. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe and click all on the bell notification. Yep, it's some shit in the game. Look at that. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see it. See it how I'm seeing it. But at any rate, let's read. All right. So, domicile, right? Maybe moving uh, locations or buying a new place here. Something almost gets by you. Something almost gets by you. Someone almost gets pulls wool over your eyes and you catch it right in the nick of time. It may be several things that have been done, but uh, now you are learning. That's part of your growth. To go ahead and cut, like, you may have, I'm not going to start acting up with y'all. Because y'all, I've been doing good in this series of reads, okay? But whatever this is, you wouldn't normally put up with this with nobody. Probably not even your mama. Normally, you wouldn't put up with this with anyone or normally you wouldn't, um, you know, look over this, right? You wouldn't look over this um, in a normal situation. So, let's see what's going on here. Also, the 90-day journey to mindfulness is available on my website as well as um, Amazon. And that, that information is in the description box. The 90-day journey to mindfulness helps you to become more pres mindful, present, and aware. It helps you to hone your gifts. It helps you to break or um, break generational cur um, curses, cycles, or what have you. But also, you can uh, take note of any ascension symptoms and uh, signs and symptoms as well. There's a number of things that this journal will help you with. It, it's um, um, individual it, it's based on the, um, the individual, their process, and how they relate to themselves, basically. When you are doing it um, as an individual, you can also use it to um, take note of things that need to be brought up to your therapist. You, the first card out is action. Yeah. All right. The indecision. Got a huge decision to make. The strength card on the side of that. Patience. <laughs> Okay, stop rocking the stop rocking the uh, table. Patience. The garden and the gate. Hostilities. Contract. The temple path. <laughs> community card. Y'all are the third read out that it had the community card. The community card is the lady in the red dress, the man in the red box of briefs. A third party situation, a three ring circus, whatever. So whatever it is that you are going through, it's going to lead you to a number of options here. Uh, someone may have options or someone may be presenting some type of option to you or opportunity to you here. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of envy and, and jealousy around you because of this new level of insight that you have and this new way of moving and grooving that you will be doing. <sighs> Chad, Aries. 
Let's see what's going on. So the first card out is action. You already knew what steps you were going to take, so you just went ahead and started taking the motherfuckers. It's like you have the wind beneath your wings. <laughs> But the thing is, you run into um, a space uh, right when you feel feel like you have something figured out. You move into this space, so I don't know which way to go because I don't want certain things to come back on me. I don't want certain things to happen. I got to be really, really, whatever decision I make, I know I'm going to have to stand on my 10. Angela Strength behind the decision that you make. Uh, you may have a strong Leo placement, but overall, whatever decision you make to... to um, Whatever you take action towards and decide to and make a um, come to a space where you have to make a decision, it may be a quick decision, and you just have to stand on it, right? Um, I feel as though this is going to cause a lot of upset. This is going to cause a lot of hostilities. This is going to cause for you to pull back from certain people for a source. This is going to cause for you to um, have to go ahead and close out a chapter, close out the way that you think about certain things, close out about if someone did cause you any type of pain, strife, or grief. It's time to close that chapter, that, that part of... Um, mentally right or whatever it is that you say or whatever it is that you do is shutting the door putting the nail in the coffin for someone here um i also feel with this hostility is like someone wants to argue someone wants to take you off your path someone wants to um take you to a space testing your gangster don't test angry gangster okay uh someone may, may be trying to test you so move forward so what I'm saying here is that um, when you really um, have these strong urges or this, um, like, here's the thing. There may be a lot of people highly opinionated around the, this time that this happens, that you make this decision. And you, then you get kind of a little breeze of how people are going to respond because this must be affecting a lot of people when you make this decision. You're going to have to have patience in your process. Um, they're saying that once you do go into this space of um, allowing things to be what they are, so you may have a deep freeze. This is more than a meditative state. This is you. It's the equivalent of a lot of things that just start to happen to make you sit the fuck down. Okay. So I advise you to go and listen. And then you ain't got to uh, hear all. I mean, go through all the things that you would have to to go into this deep freeze or this pause or um, this. Um, yeah. You're going to have to have patience with some type of legality. I didn't even see the justice card here, the contract card. Yeah. So. Maybe you're waiting for a divorce. Someone may be waiting for a divorce or waiting for the child custody. Whatever this is, maybe a house. It's some kind of legality. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? Because y'all know what y'all got going on. But their patience is going to be key. Um, someone is going to be ordained to do something right here. Someone is going to um, choose a different direction after the, this contract is signed. Here. Clarify this patience card. Four of Cups and the World. Okay, so this is this is going to uh, in that in that space where you're going to go into that deep freeze, right, and um, really have to um, reevaluate reevaluate your feelings or the feelings of someone who may have come at you or what have you some type of disagreement or argument it's time to close that chapter and they're helping you to close that chapter but you need more information intuitively or maybe you're waiting for some type of processes or process to um be finalized before you can even uh come out of this stupor because i feel like some of you may have even been patient with someone who drank a lot some you may have been patient with someone who um always wants to party always wants to be in like they may be a social uh, this may be someone who is very sociable. They like to go out. They like to do this. They like to do that, right? And you've been patient with them for a very, very long time. And now you're, you know, it's like time is up. She got a, a hourglass. She's sitting. She's sitting, ain't she? <laughs> what? She's sitting. So. um She's being, that, that's the whole energy, right? Like, um, maybe you are tired, you gave up on this situation, yeah. And you're waiting for some type of news, some type of offer, some type of information. They're saying don't wait too long because once you receive the key, it'll be time for you to go. Um, and what I'm really feeling with y'all is that I don't even think that it's that you're going to forget. I mean, um, that you are just going to be sitting and waiting in the sense of not doing other things. Um, you're not putting all your apples in one basket. I really feel like it has something to do with um, now that I got this information, do I really want to move forward? Like you may be going back and forth with yourself. 
You may hear a lot of birds chirping and stuff like that as a reminder. Yeah, Eight of Swords. That Garden in the Gate is like you have the key to get yourself out of this situation. You have the key to release yourself from whatever mental confines you find yourself in. You have the key. But I also feel like there may have been some domestic violence or something like that. And someone is waiting to move. What is this hostility? The Wheel of Fortune. Someone is trying to fight you over what is rightfully yours. Someone, it, I think this is jealousy. I'm going to pull some more cards. I think this is jealousy. For that to, uh, like someone may have tried to turn your wheel. These, this the fighting bitches, okay? The fighting bitches. I don't know if y'all can see it good. But the fighting bitches, is, it's a dark energy trying to pull the wheel one way and a light energy trying to pull the wheel the other way. It's a battle of over fortune. And someone is getting upset and hostile. They're going to cut themselves though. I got a strong feeling because the temple path is crossing it. Right, so that could be the hospital, that could be um, something to do with um, just having to go and heal and find God, okay? Whoever that is, it could be your ass. I don't even know, I doubt it, I don't think so because I asked, okay? What is this uh, wheel of fortune talking about? Moving away from the all that hostility, I, I didn't think that was y'all, mean ass. Moving away from all of the hostilities, all of the, uh, moving away from an argument, and seamlessly so. Moving away from any type of dysfunction. Moving away from um, things that, like, you may be moving away from this Leo person. Or this person that has a strong, they're highly opinionated. And, yeah, because the, the community card is under here. So, you may be moving away from this person kicking them out of the group, kicking them out of the house. It's probably a teenager. Kicking them out the house. It's something like that. It's like, no, we are leaving. We got to go. He got all of his skeletons in his boat. Okay. So, yeah, that's an A-Race code. <laughs> Bitch, I got all my skeletons in my motherfucking boat. And I can pull them out for you if I want to. All right. So, there's some type of... Someone is trying to get, cause some type of issue with you before a contract. Someone is trying to cause some type of issue with you before this uh, judgment. Two of Cups. It may be someone that you're in a relationship with or someone is trying to... Um, bring something up or do something to try and deter you. Come on, Fanny. Come on, Fanny. Come on, Fanny. Yeah. Trying to deter you. Yeah, they making plans. Before the paperwork, they making plans. Uh, whatever this page of swords is, this is someone very immature. This isn't someone who has done a lot of work when it comes to um, just how things operate when it comes to soul contracts, when it comes to whatever this is. The moon card and the ace of cups. Someone looked in on this. What the fuck? Someone looked in on this and is trying to communicate. They're, okay, so someone, there's, um, and you're getting some type of offer. This is fast communication. They want you to be resilient, want you to keep moving forward. They want, yeah, you got a lot of, yeah, you got a lot going, you got a lot of good stuff going on, okay? You got a lot of good stuff going on. But overall, let's get back into it. Clarify this third row. Five of Wands. <laughs> please do not start no issues with Aries, please. Coming from a Libra, please don't start nothing with no Aries. Okay, and I really do feel like somebody may, here's the thing, that this is what I'm seeing. There may be um, an issue here where, like if this is court, someone is trying to trigger you before court. Someone is trying to trigger you before going in front of mediation or something like that. Someone is trying to trigger you, but they can't trigger you, right? Someone may be trying to trigger you and... Because they, they think that they know what worked in the past is going to work right now. Because they don't know that you did all this growth, this growing. Judgment is here. Oh, okay. The divine stepped in, baby. Once you made a choice to move on, it's like, okay, thank you. You're not doing all that extra shit. So, okay, let's go. Let's rock and let's roll. Right? You took the high road. Now look how it's going to pay out for you. That's that devil card. It's the only card that got a little nip on it. All right. 
what are these what is this um temple path some of you may be taking a retreat or taking some time out something is being revealed to you when you go into deep meditation when you go into this um expansive um part of your process right something is being revealed to you about um that you may be someone who really touches people's hearts you may be someone who just knows how to um, get to the bottom of things with gentleness ease and grace because look how she doing him Feel your heart. Like she really feeling his heart. The fuck is she doing? But overall, I really do feel as though um the this moon card, something, yep, something is coming to you. Are real, you are realizing something. You maybe even be in a space where you um had whatever it is that you however you want something to go. Yeah, you're moving away from deception and, and deceit. Moving away from having too much going on to just enough going on for to drive your passion here because you may have um, been misquote misdirected you may have been misquoted too but you got the seven of cups and the hierophant a high priest here king of swords king of cups y'all got y'all always have all the options okay you trying to figure out who's going to go who going with you and who going to keep their ass where they are what are you going to do and how are you going to do it the emperor of course y'all would show up but um i'm seeing here that yeah See, y'all got a number of good calls. Y'all cutting people off left and right, but y'all not doing it the, in the same way. Something has changed. I really like it. See how I'm not even acting up no more. Because it, it calmed down. Okay? Now, let me see, honey. 